Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I have a different background because I thought I would just film on my couch because honestly, there's a spin bike right here because Tim keeps bringing my spin bike from my gym to my living room and not moving it back. And so where I normally film, there's a bike. So we're gonna film here. <laughs> uh, but I am so excited because I went shopping in New York and I'm gonna have all the clothing, fashion, random stuff that I bought coming up in another video soon, but I thought I would show you what I got from Sephora because I did some serious damage. It had been so long since I feel like I'd really like shopped at Sephora. I bought like a couple things before my show, but like nothing that was like new that like, I really wanted that was like not, I don't know. I feel like I like needed those other things that I bought, like the new beauty blender and things like that. But this is stuff I wanted. And it's so amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing, I'm gonna be doing a video about this soon, but it is this YSL, I don't even know what these are called, Volupt Tint in Oil, and it's the shade 62. I don't know. It's the shade, Undre it's um, Undress Me, I think is the name of it. Why doesn't it put the name on here? I'm pretty sure it's Undress Me. I'm like fairly, like 99% sure it's Undress Me. This is like an oil lip gloss, you guys. It has like the coolest little applicator. You guys can see that. And it's like so shiny and weightless and oh my god. It feels like amazing. I've been using it like a million times a day. I'm obsessed with it. My sister Rachel actually found this and she was like, Abby, did you see this? And she was like swatching them all on her hand and she got a different one, like the copper one. But I picked out this one. I like tested a lot on my hand and they're like really clear, but some of them have a little glitter to them, to them, and but they're like so shiny and hydrating and just like make your lips look so just nice. I am obsessed with this. Like, oh my god. It's so good. It's so good. It's the best lip gloss, whatever I've ever tried, ever, 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 ever. Then I picked up a lipstick from Bite Beauty. This is one of their new buttercream lipsticks. Okay, so Check it out. This is in Rosewood. How weird is this, you guys? First of all, the packaging is like super dense, really heavyweight. I love Bite Beauty products, but look at this. It's flat. Are all their lipsticks like that, you guys? Because the ones that I have that are minis aren't flat. And this really threw me off because I like them when they're angled. So I was a little sad, and I was like, Rachel, <laughs> that's my sister, I was like, is it supposed to be like this? And she was like, I think so. And, I mean, I think it is because it's got the B on it, but like... I was like, around the edges and stuff, I thought it was weird, so. I mean, it looks cool, because it looks like it's big, medium, little tears, like a cake. <laughs> but, I don't get why they did that. I don't know, if you guys know, there's a little fuzzy on it. If you guys know, put it in the comments below, because I kind of thought it was weird, and maybe I'm, like, missing something here. So, yeah, there's that. So, yeah, I got that. I really do love the color. Oh, I should swatch it for you. Oh, amazing mauve. I just really love that like mauvey nude. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Then I picked out something that I've wanted forever and ever. It is the ambient lighting palette from Hourglass. Oh my gosh, you guys. I know you've seen so many people review this, but it is literally gorgeous. Like this packaging is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. And then it just like pops open right here. Oh, and then it's amazingness. That is what it looks like, focus camera. Ta-da, that is what it looks like. It's phenomenal, so gorgeous. I just like love all of these colors so much and it's so pretty and the, it's so finely milled and just luxury, like it is luxury. I don't even know how else to describe it. Then something that I've seen a lot of people talk about is the Too Faced, the little black book of bronzers. And I really wanted this because I loved Too Faced, Too Faced, Too Faced, Oh my gosh, you guys. Two faced. Two faces? Two faces. That's how I would say it. I'm so silly. Two faces. Um, Chocolate Soleil bronzer is one of my all time holy grail favorite bronzers. And this has all of them. Oh! And I mean, really, like, it's going to take you, like, forever to use all those. Like, there's no way you're going to ever use all those bronzers. And I really wanted to try all of them. So you get seven bronzers total. Each of them are 2.5 grams. And we have Sun Bunny, Milk Chocolate Soleil, Chocolate Soleil, my favorite. 
Then we have Snow Bunny, Dark Chocolate Soul Light, which will be perfect for my shows. Then we have Pink Leopard, Beach Bunny, and Endless Summer. And they literally all look friggin' amazing. Like, how gorgeous are those? I cannot wait. I, like, cannot wait to use this. I'm so excited that, that, that Sephora had that. I also picked up this by Bite Beauty. I just really like Bite Beauty. I'm a huge fan. Um, I just think their lipsticks are really amazing and they're so creamy and they last a really long time. And I love their lip glosses too. I like the way that they smell. I like the color payoff and I like the formula. They're like really shiny without being like crazy chunky glittery or crazy pigmented. I feel like they just have like just the right amount of pigment. And I can't get this open but I really want to show you guys. So they came out with a new palette. I bought one of their lip gloss libraries a while ago. I like how they do this, these lip gloss libraries. And this is the watercolor one. And just like how interesting are those colors? I mean, how am I not going to buy that? I swatched like the yellow and the green and stuff. And they're so cool. I'm so excited to try these all out. I seriously like can't wait. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so fun to play with. So fun to play with. Okay, then... NARS has a new blush, and this is their Christopher Kane blush, and it is, is it just called like Christopher Kane? No, it's called Starscape. Wait till you guys see this. It's so gorgeous. I love NARS packaging, and look, I love the pink NARS logo on there, and how they always have the little thing inside. Bam! How beautiful is that? Look at that. So gorgeous. What a great spring summer color. So that is Starscape and it's the NARS Christopher Kane collection. And then I picked up a new foundation from Laura Mercier. A silk cream foundation was like one of my favorite, favorite foundations ever. And I didn't know that they made this, but it's the silk. No! I got the silk cream moisturizing. I meant to get the other one. This. Why was this with the matte ones? There was like a silk free, a silk cream, um, a silk cream oil free and a silk cream moisturizing. Shoot, I got the wrong one. Well, I'm going to have to take it back, but it's in cashew beige and let me make sure. Yep. Man, this was with the matte ones. The moisturizing ones are shiny and the oil free ones are matte on the outside. So I'm just going to have to take this back to my Sephora and get the matte one but I like how they have a moisturizing and then an oil free one and I love this my shade is cashew beige I tested it out in the store and I'm so excited to see how this compares to the old um one which I'm actually not sure if she makes I didn't even bother to check which I probably should have then I got um just like a little bobby brown lip gloss as one of the 100 point ones it's called bare sparkle and I just I liked that 100 point award and I save up all my points so I have been saving them for years and I have something like 3,000 points don't judge me it's fine then, last thing I got was super basic something. It is the NARS Turkish Delight Lip Gloss. I just love this. If you guys have never had this lip gloss or tried it, it is just a really nice, neutral, pinky color. It's just really light, really lightweight, and really beautiful. And I just, like, I just love it. I'll put it on here. Oh. Mwah. I convinced my sister to get it, too. I just really love this color. Just like how pretty is this freaking lip gloss? It looks so girly and pretty and amazing. And I love NARS packaging. It's like one of my favorite packaging of all cosmetics. So that is what I got at Sephora, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like it and you want to see more haul videos, of course. And then I have like a million things that I got at New York, like went shopping for fashion stuff, shoes and clothes and all kinds of things. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. It'll be coming up really soon. Have an awesome day, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.